Last week, our varsity football team defeated the Liberty Redhawks with a 42-7 victory. That was the last regular season game. As the Frisco Raccoons enter the first round of playoffs, they take on the Lovejoy Leopards at AT&T Stadium tomorrow evening at 5.30. What are you guys doing differently to prepare for the playoffs than you guys did during regular season? We're not really doing anything different. We're just trying to keep the same routine because we're not trying to have any distractions. You know, on defense, uh, we're watching a lot of film and uh, scout team really giving us a good picture out there so we can kind of see what their offense is going to do to shut them down. How do you feel about having the opportunity to play in AT&T Stadium? I mean, it's a great opportunity. I mean, I haven't been there before, so um, this year I'm just really looking forward to it. You know, hopefully we have uh, a lot more games there. Tickets will be $10 and parking will be $10 as well. The link to buy playoff tickets is on the FHS website under news. We all know how much better the team plays when the stands are full, so we hope to see you out there. We would also like to give a special shout out to our Lady Raccoons volleyball team who had an outstanding season. We are so proud of you. For RACC TV, I'm Sydney Hill. Many students are unaware of the variety of special programs here at Frisco High School. For example, FHS participates in a foreign exchange program that introduces us to students from all over the world and introduces them to us. Camilla, who is from Norway, has noticed how different her education system is than the one here in Frisco. Maybe the biggest difference is what we learn and how we learn it and the classes because we have like one class that we keep to and um, and then we move together and the teacher comes to us or move with us except for like language and math then we have like different math so we have different math classes. One of the biggest differences is um, that here only um, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th grade because my school are from uh, 5th to 13th grade overall. Uh, that's, that's really strange here that here's so many people and so many classes and so on. Everything the structure is better and I think it's a little bit better but it's also easier. You don't need to learn so much than in Austria but it depends on what classes you take. Students choose to enter the foreign exchange program for a variety of reasons. And just to do something else and also for the education and for the new culture here and yeah just everybody's talking about the US and yeah just going there. The main reason why I came here for an exchange year was because I was very tired of school <laughs> and I like to, to do new things and experience new culture and new places and travel so I thought this was perfect. The main point why uh, I want to come to the States was um, that I want to play football here, to play uh, American football where it all begins and um, yeah, to have the experience to play high school football, to play every day, to have everyday practice and another kind of practice, another coaches, another team and um, this was the main point and then of course uh, the experience to live uh, with another family, go to another school and uh, be in another area. Getting to know each of these students is an opportunity to expand your knowledge on different ways of life outside Frisco High School and may also prompt you to consider becoming a foreign exchange student yourself. After all, it works both ways. For RACC TV, I'm Olivia Lavelle. Almost every high school athlete dreams of someday playing for a college or a pro team. Many people here at FHS don't know this, but one of our staff members once played football for the University of Michigan. Dadrian Taylor, who teaches study schools, once played cornerback for the Michigan Wolverines. My decision was based on um, getting, receiving a quality education. And so based on that, I narrowed those schools down to University of Michigan, Notre Dame, and Texas A&M. And so I knew, you know, once I narrowed it down to those three schools that um, whatever decision I made would be a good decision. Though his football career was cut short, Mr. Taylor did play long enough to acquire some championship rings, which he will always be proud of. 
Well, when I played at the University of Michigan, you know, we won two Big Ten championships. We also won a national championship where we went down, um, went to the Rose Bowl, and we beat Washington State in the Rose Bowl. Mr. Taylor has played alongside many personalities you have probably heard of. You know, I, I played with Tom Brady. Um, I played with Charles Woodson, and those relationships that, that we built during that, those four years that I was there, I mean, you, you can't take those things away. Unfortunately, Mr. Taylor's career was cut short due to an injury. I was injured on national TV, and so um, it's one of those things where we were playing against uh, a team who was ranked number two in the nation, and we were ranked number four in the nation. And I mean, the, the emotions were running high, and so um, I hit, I ended up hitting a, a receiver that was going to the sideline, and, and he was about 280 pounds, and at the time I was much lighter than I am now. Um, as a result of that, I received a neck injury, and so I have an um, abnormal space between C1 and C2. Uh, my, which is my cervical region, and um, you know, I, I can never play football again, just wouldn't be smart. But Mr. Taylor did not let the disappointment of leaving football keep him from maintaining a positive attitude. The most important thing I learned about myself is how to take a step back and think about other important things that I cared about and, and foster those things. Mr. Taylor transferred his love of sports into coaching during his remaining years at Michigan and has since entered grad school to become a counselor. I enjoy engaging with the kids in terms of um, teaching kids um, things that they can't see that they're going to need in the future. And so um, that looks like a lot of times teaching the kid to be organized or teaching the kid how a mentality. And so I enjoy that aha moment when that kid realizes, you know what, I'm glad that uh, Mr. Taylor taught me that because that's something I'm going to use in my future. So. Having Mr. Taylor as a teacher is pretty cool. I mean, overall, he's an amazing dude. Uh, he really teaches us some uh, life skills that we can use, so that's really helpful. I absolutely love teaching. I love giving that direction, and, and I, I, give, I get a sense of um, accomplishment from, from providing that to, to other students. Uh, I like him just because he's like one of my nicest teachers, and he helps me with everything like my homework, and he's helped me get rid of my bad habits like not doing my homework or getting better grades and stuff like that. And if I wasn't in his class, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing in every other class. It's pretty cool to have someone as your teacher that played for Michigan and won a national championship. Mr. Taylor is a living example of turning a heartbreaking experience into something positive. For RACC TV, I'm Ryan Valade. This week on RACC TV, we interviewed the students about the craziest things that have ever happened to them. I went to a watermelon farm. I was picking watermelons. <laughs> Sounds weird. And as I was picking one, I tripped over one and my face landed in it. And like broke it broke it open, but I got to eat it though. So um, we went to Germany and this guy started growling at us and he was homeless and I felt really bad. But um he was like crossing his eyes and making really weird noises and he tr tried to chase us. Uh, well, I'm a soccer player, and I was out with my team. We went on this roller coaster ride. I had two of my teammates beside me, and both of them threw up at the same time. It was pretty nasty. Not much, just like Netflix, I guess. And show? <laughs> um, I was in Atlanta, and then like we were in a hotel, and there's a McDonald's like right next to us. And then I went over there with a couple of my teammates, and then it was basically really weird because like a bunch of like people you can tell were uh, a little bit out of it just came in there, and it was like a, they were like rolling 12 deep. We felt we really feared our lives, you know. All right, when I was eight on Thanksgiving, I ran to the screen door and got a concussion. <laughs> One time me and my friends were out in the woods at 3 in the morning and almost got shot by a guy wearing nothing but a white beater and boxers. And this is RACC TV and this is Cooper Whit. I'm Colin Bloomer and this is RACC TV. Bro, where am I bro? Who it's all, are you? It's all good dude. It's all good in the hood. Good morning, fellow raccoons, and welcome to the Weekend Weather Watch. I'm Kinsley Cook. And I'm Caden Wright. This weekend, a cold front blows in, but that won't matter because the Cowboys Stadium is indoors. That's right. Our varsity boys take on Lovejoy at an AT&T Stadium in the first round of playoffs tomorrow at 530. 
The team could use all the support they can get, so make sure we get those seats filled. Besides, who wouldn't want to watch your friends play at Jerry World? Speaking of football, the weather today will be mostly sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 44. Saturday will be cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 49. Sunday, we'll see some showers with a high of 57 and a low of 53. Shrek the Musical will be today and tomorrow. Expect you all to be at the game tomorrow, representing Frisco on the road to state. And for RACC TV, I'm Caden Wright. And I'm Kinsley Cook. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend.